Am I the asshole? For not renaming my puppy because my sister wanted to use it for her unborn kid? This feels pretty dumb but here's the situation. My sister is 7 months pregnant with her first kid. She and her husband didn't want to tell anyone the name of their to be born son until he's born, fine by me I'd probably do the same. Well last week I adopted a pup and named him Eddie. I've always liked human names for dogs and growing up on Ed Ed Eddie it just felt right. My GF posted on nigger pic of Eddie with his new collar and custom dog bowl and then my sister called me telling me I have to change the name because they are naming their son Edward after her father-in-law and will be calling him Eddie. I told her the dog is already named, it fits him, we bought stuff with the name already, and it's not like anyone will confuse a dog for a human anyway. She keeps insisting we do so and says him already being a bad uncle by not. This feels so stupid to me but am I the asshole? X200B Update we're keeping the name. Not because of this post, but last night our two year old hugged him and said my Eddie and that settled it for us. Have a great day everyone. Not the asshole and it is very stupid. Not like Eddie is some super unique name, and she's the one that refused to tell anyone the name. What is the worst thing that's gonna happen? You call out the kid's name at a family event and both the kid and the dog come over to you. The horror. Not the asshole. Our adopted dog is Sunny. So is the neighbor's child. You better believe when I yell out the door. Sunny you get back here now I know my dog is inside, and the neighbor's kid is brushing their teeth vigorously. My friend group once had three Emily's an adult an unrelated child, and a German shepherd owned by another friend. They were Emily the quadruped shortened to eat cut times, Emily the tall, and Emily the small. R.I.P. to eat cut passed in 2003. Emily the small is now working on her PhD. Get matching baby gifts. A onesie for your nephew that says Eddie the human and a dog outfit that says Eddie the dog. Hopefully laughter will diffuse the situation. Not the asshole, but please acknowledge that it's going to be weird in 13 years when your dog passes and you still have to call your nephew the name of your dead dog. It's been a week, consider changing it. Not the asshole, but reply bro. It's a dog, it's been a week, it prob doesn't know its own name. Your sister will always hold a grudge and remember you wouldn't do her this favor on a week old name for a puppy. Just because you have the moral high ground doesn't mean there won't be consequences. It's not your third cousin twice removed that you see twice a decade. It's your sister's son. If you never see your sister disregard my comment, but if you see them often, I would reconsider just for the family's well-being. Taking an L can save you years of resentment and not the asshole. Tell her she shouldn't name her kid after a Twilight character. Nah. You're not obligated to change your puppy's name. Would it be nice of you and easy since the puppy doesn't know its name yet? Yes, but your choice ultimately. Your sister is allowed to be disappointed and ask you to change the puppy's name. I don't think it's a huge ask, but she should offer to buy you new puppy items if they're labeled with current name. Both of you are valid to your feelings here, but not sure it would be the hill I die on from either side. No assholes here although personally, if it was me, I would change the dog's name. I respect my sister and love her enough to take into consideration her feelings on the matter. A first baby is very exciting and I would feel bummed as well if my sibling named their dog the same as my newborn, even if just a nickname. I mean, are you technically in the wrong? No. But is this really the hill you want to die on? Clearly the name is important to your sister and her husband, and I can see why she wouldn't want her son to have the same name as your dog. Is the name fits him, and we already bought stuff for him with the name on it a good enough reason for you to tank your relationship with your sister? Pretty obvious not the asshole. She didn't tell you the name before you got the dog. There will generally be no confusion between if you're talking about a dog or a baby when talking to others. I don't even know what constitutes a bad uncle since you aren't actively harming the child. 
You don't owe someone else's baby priority over your household. Just say no and if she keeps insisting, change the subject or end the conversation. We discussed this and I said no is more than enough. Not the asshole, but the name clearly has more significance for your sister and your brother-in-law. Is it that much of an inconvenience for you to change the dog's name? Your sister is under a lot of stress and this favor, however silly it might seem, would make her feel respected and loved. Again, not the asshole, but in your shoes, I'd make the swap. Not the asshole honestly it's at least a halfway reasonable concern for her to not want her kid sharing a name with your dog. They'll probably be together a bit through your dog's life, and the timing makes it a bit awkward, especially with you announcing first. That isn't your fault either, I just think it's a reasonable request. It's also a reasonable request to turn down and where she lost me is in calling you a bad uncle. You're not an asshole. But here's some advice you won't get from everyone saying not the asshole. Because they're probably children and teens with no experience. Pick your battles. Not the asshole. I can get your sister having a hang on a minute moment but it really isn't a big deal if she really thinks about it. What does she think is going to happen? Family meeting at yours, banging on the dog bowl with food eddy eddy dinner time and the toddler bounds over and starts eating dog food. Mommy, mommy, am I a dog? No son, you're not why do I have the name of a dog? It's all a bit silly. Now you absolutely are not obligated to do what your sister is asking. But, it would be a really nice thing to do for your pregnant sister who certainly has a lot on her plate. You've had the dog a week so he cannot really be that trained to his name. It would require a little mental effort on your part. Up to you. Martin Crane approves of your choice of dog names. Not the asshole my mum has a chicken with the same name as my daughter and my daughter loves that there's a good chance that your nephew will love having the same name as a dog. You're the asshole I get it's not that big of a deal, but just change the dog's name. She's having her first baby, and it means a lot to her. Her baby is special to her, and she wants his name to just be for him. I feel like for something as important and special as a baby, she shouldn't have to compromise. Whereas for you, I know you love your dog, but the dog's name isn't quite as important as your sister's baby. My aunt and uncle had a basset hound named Abby, which is my sister's name but a different spelling. We all thought it was great and referred to my sister jokingly as human Abby and she thought it was funny. Not the asshole. If it's good enough for Indiana Jones. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Generally, I find it annoying when people do the whole we aren't revealing the name thing. People take themselves way too seriously lol. I have two dogs named Rory and Ben. My brother-in-law's got two sisters I've never met them, who somehow managed to find boyfriends named Rory and Ben. Technically my dogs came first, so I've been informed that when they all got together, my in-laws dubbed the boyfriends Human Rory and Human Ben. It's all in good fun, no one gets soul dibs on a name that's been around for centuries. Good luck with your new pup, Eddie, and new nephew, Human Eddie. My older brother was named after the family dog and he was fine I think your sister will be fine. When I was born my parents never used my full name instead calling me a shortened version that also happened to be the same name as my grandparents dog and we lived on the same property as them. I loved that dog and it never bothered me having the same name. Not the asshole. You publicly named him first. Sister could have gave you a heads up and told you to not reveal the kid's name. Unpopular opinion but you're the asshole a bit. If I'm in your shoes, I just change the name of the puppy. I get them not wanting to share their child's name with a dog. Not a big deal to everyone, but if it's a big deal to them I don't see why changing the puppy name is something you can't do for your family. You can ask her to pay for a new bowl since it was custom, I don't think that's unreasonable. I say you're the asshole. It's a dog's name versus her child's name. Plus she's naming the baby after an actual family member. The dog definitely doesn't know its name yet. 
I think it's weird that you wouldn't rename the dog. A, sorry but you're the asshole. 99.9 .9 of the time name goes to the first person to claim it, which is you since mama didn't tell anyone their plan. But for you it is a meaningless cute name for a dog you just got. For them it is the baby's grandfather's name that they clearly picked a while ago. Had the name had any significance to you, or was a dog that was already named, or was a human baby any one of those would make it your right to name it. But this is the 0.1 of the time that calling dips does not work. Not the asshole but I'd probably change it for my sister. She's not the asshole for asking, but she's a bit of one for insisting even after you said no. Still, I can see why it would be sort of weird for her to announce her son with the same name within weeks of you adopting a dog you gave the same name. It isn't so black and white as no one owns a name so who cares? Not the asshole. But your sister is pregnant and on some heavy duty hormones. Having been there myself, I can imagine, how this situation is like for her it can make you think, everything is about you and or the baby. So, keep the name but handle your sister with care. My niece is named Caitlin sometimes calling her Kate, and we had a dog named Kate. Nobody gave a shit and nobody confused them, even when my niece visited. Not the asshole. Not the asshole since you aren't a mind reader you had no idea. And yes many people won't even think of the dog or the baby when using their name. I had a cat with the same name as my cousin, never was an issue. Not the asshole your sister has what's called a personal problem. Which means it's her issue to cope with, and nobody else has to deal with. Congrats on the up. Growing up I had a brother, an uncle and my grandpa's dog all named Pete. We called them Pete the boy, Pete the dog and Pete the man. Just call them Ed the boy and Ed the dog. 